Mm. Wait, are we? Oh. Hello everyone, and welcome to the new year. To kick things off on the right foot, we'd like to give you some insight into what some of our favorite guests are looking forward to in 2020. We asked them to answer three quick questions. What is the most important crypto event of 2020? What is the most promising cryptocurrency of 2020? And what is your New Year's resolution? What do you guys think is going to define crypto in 2020? Let us know in the comments below. So first off, let's hear about what will be the most important crypto events of 2020. I think the most important crypto event of 2020 is going to be the distribution of Gram tokens. Uh, it was by far the biggest buzzkill of 2019 that they uh, got cock blocked by the SEC. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out. I think the, the crypto event of the year will probably be happening. Uh, I think that's going to be exciting. I think interesting things will happen there. But I think it's just a matter of getting the technology to where it's super easy to use and people start uh, using it to shop with. And I think that's going to make a big difference. I think the major event for 2020 is going to be, is the next rally phase, the next uh, bullish cycle phase going to happen, which I do expect is going to. And what I'm really expecting is when the majority of folks, the majority of people are going to become extremely bearish. That's the one thing I want to wait for. I'm waiting for the public sentiment, the public opinion sentiment to become extremely negative and bearish on Bitcoin. And that potentially is the next major turning point for, for Bitcoin. I think that could happen in the first half of 2020. So that's the major thing. And then I'm expecting the next bullish phase to occur uh, sometime in the first half of 2020. I would say Ethereum, Cosmos, Polkadot, and other similar projects can achieve a scale which makes them useful for uh, widespread, widely used applications. And that can apply for individual consumers or for enterprises as well. So the layer two upgrade for uh, Ethereum to proof of stake is obviously extremely important. Um, Cosmos is, um, IBC uh, is launching in Q1 of next year, and then Polkadot, which is you know, what a very hyped project that's been mostly VC funded, um, is uh, yet to launch and is launching as well. So um, these are important milestones because ultimately, unless you think that um, you know this technology is only useful as a form of digital gold as a store of value like Bitcoin, if you think it has use and utility beyond that, then you need platforms that can support those applications. So that's the, those are the three things that I'll be looking at for next year. The most important crypto event of 2020. Okay, so I'm sure everyone's gonna think it's the halving and all that good stuff. And that obviously is a major driver for Bitcoin, of course. But I think an answer that perhaps uh, some people are not considering right now is going to be one, the U.S. elections. Do you think that that actually does have some uh, some insight into into Bitcoin? Because we've seen that the U.S. setting interest rates actually does have corollaries into kind of driving Bitcoin price action. So whoever gets elected on this next, uh, you know, on this next go around is essentially going to be able to, you know, kind of work around with the uh, with the Fed. Right now we have a very interesting situation with Trump and the current head of the Fed and you do you know how that kind of all thing goes, but um but I think that's one of the things that people are not really considering right now that's not an obvious one. So the most significant event is privacy coins in 2020 will be outlawed in at least one significant country. Guaranteed. And Monero will be the coin First ban. Will 2020 see the rise of altcoins or will Bitcoin dominance continue to reign supreme? Which cryptocurrencies are our guests most excited about? The most promising cryptocurrency for 2020 is Bitcoin by far. The cryptocurrency that I'm the most excited about for next year, other than Bitcoin, is uh, probably Tezos because they are. Uh, making huge advances. Things are going very well for them and there are lots of interesting engineers doing interesting work to, to apply to Tezos. I think that's going to be really exciting. And I would say NEO. Uh, I've heard uh, some, from some great um, uh, Bitcoin uh, traders and also Bitcoin investors. Uh, and again, this is their opinion, not mine, but they're saying that NEO is a Chinese-backed uh, cryptocurrency that could potentially have um, some uh, momentum in uh, the, potentially the next few years. So NEO is the one I'm watching. Um, well, so long as people don't misconstrue this as investment advice, the thing that I'm most interested in are ATOMS, which is the native token for the Cosmos network. Um, Cosmos is a project that was uh, bootstrapped and did a very small funding event in 2017. And since then has scaled into one of the biggest 
organic communities. Um, I think what's really interesting about uh, these protocols is that some of the ones that raise the most money have been able to spend freely on uh, trying to attract people to their platform. But the ones that are most successful, the ones that do so organically, where people are driven by uh, the mission or they're attracted to it by the technology. So we saw that with Ethereum um, in 2015, 16, 17. And uh, I think you're going to see that as well. I mean, you are seeing it now with Cosmos and, and I think you'll see that continue to accelerate. I think it's quite clear within this market, except for a few outliers here and there, if Bitcoin doesn't go up, no one's going up. And in fact, even when Bitcoin goes up, sometimes other people still don't go up. So. I'd say, you know, if you're if you're looking for a cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin, it's pretty much contingent upon Bitcoin's movements to begin with. Um, if Bitcoin's not healthy in 2020, which is starting to shape up to be a little bit more of a reality, uh, as the trends are starting to set themselves in pretty damn uh, pretty damn staunchly here, I'd say, you know, except for maybe a few one-offs, uh, I, nothing on my radar, nothing you know, nothing consistently really. It'd be that would be my own token, whack. W-H-A-C-K-D. I mean, listen, WACT is the token of fucking tokens. By WACT, you're sure to lose eventually everything you have. That's my prediction for 2020. Finally, we'd like to understand the goals and mindsets of our guests. So let's see what resolutions they made for the new year. My New Year's resolution for 2020 is to assist with the proliferation and adoption of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And then my New Year's resolution uh, for 2020 is to try to figure out how to pay, how, how to raise money in Bitcoin and put it out, invest it in Bitcoin and entrepreneurs and have them all pay their employees and suppliers in Bitcoin. So. Happy holidays, happy new year, and I hope everybody sees with perfect 2020 vision how important Bitcoin and the crypto community are. My resolution, I would say my major resolution for 2020 is that I'm probably gonna start going traveling a bit more. I'm really, I really wanna see Japan. So maybe I'll go and see Japan, maybe I'll go and see China, maybe I'll eat more chocolate cake. Um, great fan of chocolate cake or something like that. Uh, my new year's resolution is to do more writing. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I think um, your viewers may know that uh, I was a co-author of a book called Blockchain Revolution. Um, a lot has changed since then, and I think there's a real uh, need for uh, a sort of wholesale update on what's happened since the book came out and uh, what people should be looking forward to in the future. And I find that writing is a way for me to, you know, be very critical with myself about uh, certain thoughts or predictions I may have had and to really test them against the reality. Yeah, my uh, 2020 New Year's resolution is to uh, analyze less of shit coins and, uh, <laughs> and, and more of legitimate things, hopefully. But if I'm being serious, my biggest resolution actually is to read one book every, uh, every week. Uh, this, this past year, I did one book a month, and uh, I feel like that helped a lot. So I figure I can hopefully push it this year. I only have one resolution, and that is to continue to survive the day. And if I go to bed with a smile and wake up still breathing, <laughs> my resolution has been met. I've been doing that for 74 years. From everyone here at Cointelegraph, we wish you a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. May you live long, prosper, and hodl. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.